we're going to evaluate the lower extremity venous system and we usually begin with the patient lying supine. I uh, prefer to bend the patient's leg outwardly and then have them rest on a towel, a rolled up towel. This will allow you to do a compression much easier when the patient's leg is completely flat. It makes it a little more difficult and if we can't completely compress that vessel, uh, it will appear that there is thrombus. We're beginning at the level of the groin in this transverse orientation with the transducer notch pointing towards the patient's right. Uh, here we have the common femoral vein, the common femoral artery, and the common femoral vein does completely compress. As we scan in fairly, we see the takeoff of that greater uh, saphenous, and we also see the takeoff of the profunda artery in this location. We want to continually compress as we move in uh, caudally, inferiorly, and now we see the takeoff of that profunda vein. The profunda vein the superficial femoral vein. Moving back superiorly, we see again the split, profunda vein, and superficial femoral artery. Note, um, we just noticed a lymph node in the near field, and we always want to remark on the lymph node. This is our lymph node. We have the superficial femoral vein, profunda vein as the split, and then scanning inferiorly. And we'll need to adjust our depth as we move on. The vessel dives deeper. We see actually the profunda vein and the superficial femoral vein. And we also see the profunda artery just below the, the profunda vein, scanning back superiorly. And again, we want to completely compress. We see the profunda vein empty into now the superficial femoral vein. Scanning superiorly, noting that lymph node. Profunda artery now emptying into the common femoral artery. And we'll now move to the popliteal fossa. I'm at the level of the popliteal vein and the popliteal artery. Note that the popliteal vein is superficial to the popliteal. As we scan superiorly in the posterior aspect of the thigh, note that they actually are side by side. One, uh, the superficial femoral vein is medial and the, uh, pop, the superficial femoral artery is more lateral. As we scan, we want to completely compress, making sure that the, it does completely collapse as the walls meet. And then scanning inferiorly, we once again see the popliteal vein and the popliteal artery. And we want to completely collapse. Scanning inferiorly, we see the trifurcation, small vessels coming off. And we want to make sure that those completely compress as we continually scan slightly inferiorly moving back superiorly. And they re-empty into the vessel. We're beginning with color Doppler now. And we have the common femoral vein to the right of the screen. And to the left is our common femoral artery. Note the difference in uh, color, blue, is representing the venous system. Red is representing the arterial system. This is another way to be able to differentiate between your vessels also. If you pay close attention, you can see the artery is very pulsatile and the venous system is very smooth and more continuous. And when you do see a decrease in that, in that color is because that's due to respiration. While the patient is inhaling the respiration and the color is decreasing. When he exhales, you can 
see the color filling back into the vessel. We also see the takeoff of the greater saphenous. Exhale for me, please. Here we see the takeoff of the greater saphenous. And note the continuous flow compared to the more pulsatile flow. And now as I scan inferiorly, we can see the takeoff of his profunda, the artery, the profunda artery. And now as I scan inferiorly, we'll see the takeoff of the profunda vein. And then that leaves us with the superficial femoral artery. Here we have the profunda vein, superficial femoral vein, superficial femoral artery. And again, we're just left with that superficial femoral vein. And with a little augmentation, we see the color filling. We want to make sure that the color fills the vessel completely because we, do not, we want to make sure that we do not have thrombus, anything that's within that lumen. And color is a very beneficial tool to be able to see if the complete lumen is being filled. And now we'll move to the popliteal. Okay, I'm at the level of the popliteal fossa and in a transverse orientation, and remember the notch is pointed to the right of the patient. I'm scanning a little superior, uh, superiorly and we see the superficial femoral artery and the superficial femoral vein and they overlap. We can tell when we start to move into the popliteal fossa when the uh, popliteal vein becomes more superficial and here we have the popliteal artery. Scanning back superiorly and noting that there is good color filling. Breathe for me. Okay. And this moves with respiration and this is normal. In the evidence of DVT, we will have more of a continuous flow within the color. If it is completely occluded, there will be no color at absolutely at all. And if there's partial, that color will move around that uh, DVT. It's also very beneficial at the time when we have uh, uh, what we call a free floating thrombus. In transverse view, that's our best view to be able to see all the walls. And we can see the color moving completely around that thrombus. We're in a longitudinal orientation at the level of the uh, common femoral vein and artery. We now see the common femoral vein. It's very important to have an angle on the vessel, and I call this a heel toe. If you aim a little superiorly with the transducer, and it's kind of a rocking, you can see if you're laying completely against the skin, the color is not filling well. So if you scanned and just rock the transducer and a heel toe, you get very good color filling within this movement. Okay, and we want to take a look at the color. Is it filling the vessel? Is it moving with the respiration? We're now going to demonstrate Doppler and color. We're in the common femoral vein. Here we now have the color, noticing the facicity, and applying Doppler. Note the spectral waveform. It's moving with the respirations. Breathe in and out, please. Okay, very good. We see the decrease as he inhales. And that exhale, please. This is called facicity, and this is a normal response to a normal venous system. If we run into DVT, this will become continuous. Whether he inhales or exhales will not change the spectrum. What we want to do next is do, we want to evaluate whether there's reflux. And this can be done in two different ways. One can be done as a valsalva, where the patient inhales, holds his breath, and then bears down. 
Let it out, please. And if you notice, there should be no flow when he inhales. If we have flow that is on uh, reverse flow, which is going to show up on the, um, the other side of the line, that's letting us know that there is reflux. Also with color is going to be very beneficial because we should see red that will indicate that there is reflux. Take in a good deep breath again and hold it and bear down. Let it out. And did we see, we saw red for a little while. That is indicating that there is reflux. We also saw the indication of the spectral in reverse flow. It was retrograde. Also, another way to be able to demonstrate this is by doing a proximal compression. And you want to make sure that you do a very good proximal compression. And I prefer to do on the abdomen and then press, release. And if you notice, once again, he had reversal of flow. So now we have a Valsalva that's allowing us to know that there is reversal of flow, suggesting that there is reflux. We also did a proximal compression, which is forcing the blood backwards, trying to evaluate those valves. And then we will now do a distal augmentation. The distal augmentation is forcing the blood upwards. And if there is a blood clot, a thrombus, uh, there will either be no augmentation or there will be a reduced augmentation. In a normal variance, we will have a very good distal augmentation, which I will, sh I will demonstrate. This is an excellent distal augmentation within a normal system. Okay, one more time, a distal augmentation. And this is a good response.